No one ever told me when I started teaching art that it wasn't just about teaching art. I was so optimistic, I was thinking to myself, oh, we're gonna make some great art projects, I'm gonna inspire students, they're gonna wanna become art teachers just like me. And then I got into teaching and I realized teaching art was maybe felt like 40% of my job because there was that whole thing called your school district, your email account, and that ever uh, kind of pending thing on your contract that says, and as other duties as assigned. Because that means that Teaching art won't be teaching art. You'll be doing all kinds of things. Coming from someone who traveled to two schools, um, had no prep at, at mostly throughout the week, and uh, had no storage and things, you know, all those little obstacles that we face. And it's just part of the day's work, recess duty and all, all of the above. Some days I didn't even know why I did my hair in the morning because I had so many recess duties and bus duties. And um, it's just, it's, it's a very, uh, the educational landscape today is not just about teaching art. So as art teachers, we need to find a way to not only cope with it, but you know, rise above it and get to the core of what we started this profession with and why we wanted to become an art teacher in the first place. And so imagine that you wake up every single day and you have 100 units of energy that you just get because you woke up and you hopefully got some good rest. And every single thing you encounter throughout your day will take a few units of those energy. And so here I'm walking, you know, I'm walking out the door and I get a call and something's broken. Okay, two units are gone. Then I go into school and somebody said, oh, the, you know, something happened with the kiln and the pot blew up. Okay, a couple units are gone. Every little thing you encounter throughout your day will drain you. And if you can think about your school day and how hectic it is leading that three ring circus, you can think about how when you get home, how many units might be left on a good day. And who gets those units? Your family, unfortunately. So we really have to, the goal of keeping calm and teaching art is saving our units of energy so we have more to give back, more to give to our families, more to give back to our students. And sometimes the easy button is okay. Sometimes it's okay that things are, feel easy and effortless. It doesn't have to be so hard.